Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be Infested Largo this time. Upper left hand corner we have Nagnar starting as the orange Zerg. Upper right corner we have Sponge starting as the white Zerg. And I should mention that the previous match and this match actually do not count. These are now officially just anti-spoilers and fun matches that I'm casting. Because I believe in the first three matches, the winner was already decided. I will not spoil that just in case you immediately went to game five. And we're like, oh, I'll look at game five to see who ended up uh, winning overall. But I, I guess as the, I'm going to upload a lot of these rapidly in rapid... I'm not going to do the delay. These are shorter games. They're fun games. Um, I've still got a lot of games. Honestly, I've got more content to upload. If I did it the day release thing with all of these, it would just be for absolutely for freaking ever uh, by the time I caught up with BSL and everything like that. And also, I want to make sure the BSL games are kind of happening at a faster clip, especially with Chobo League around the corner. But anyway, Fusted Largo, it looks like this Overlord a little bit off kilter for Nagnar to do the capture. Just a little bit of an early capture on uh, this side. Initial scout of the command center happening for both players, so they actually should get eyes on each other fairly rapidly if they have their wits about them. We are seeing a drone move out for Nagnar. That actually might... Two drones move out for Nagnar. I actually think that might be advantageous to go ahead and do additional captures. So Sponge might end up a little bit ahead in the initial gas. However, in the long-term supply and the amount of infested command centers, uh, which I, I feel like it's worthwhile just to get the overlords overhead. Grabbing those overlords and not having to build additional overlords, I think, is worth its weight. That's just my opinion on this. So Nagnar ending up a little bit economically behind. He's going to be maybe behind on the initial infested turn, but he can always be bring these drones back. And at least in the long term, the more this plays out, the fewer overlords he would have needed to sink as far as mineral cost, uh, things like that. Let's see if he's going to cycle back around. Yeah, going to go ahead and grab that. So he's got all the infested command centers out on the map. He's also blocked his front door. He is building an initial counter infested uh, Terran. We do have infested Terrans that are being built. Oh, this is clever. Look at this. Sponge actually landed this infested command center at the natural expansion underneath the defenses. And I do not know that Nagnar has spotted it. He's starting to move out with these drones. Okay, I think he has spotted it. He's going to go ahead and blockade, but that's leaving just six drones mining compared to the, uh, it's actually, well, seven opposite side. Infested, uh, or sorry, spawning pool. <laughs> I wanted to call that infested. Uh, actually, it would be interesting to see this with Protoss, but have it like the Mind Control Cup comparatively. The drones doing an initial attack, actually brushing that Infested Terran back. Uh, it's going to wait maybe for a second one to build. Now it's just holding position with that initial ramp. This drone going to walk up, go ahead and get some scouting information in the base. I missed an Infested Terran exploding. Maybe that was the delay. So these two drones dying, two more drones sneaking out for Nagnar. So he's just going to do kind of a war of attrition, keep replacing the drones here and keep moving it up infested Terrans of his own. Actually, what would be hilarious is actually to see an offensive drone at this stage. This infested Terran walking up from a different ex, uh, build point, but if it explodes in the gap, he is able to do damage to both these command centers. But a flood of infested command centers making their way towards Sponge's base. And Sponge actually behind overall, I believe. So... Kind of get a oh nice uh, drone attack overall. So he's got fewer drones, but as you can see, it's basically nine drones uh, versus minus that uh, nine drones mining, and actually one one on gas and more gas being mined overall. A couple zerglings being produced right here. So still an economic lead in Sponge's favor. However, he's got an infested command center in his base, and that lead is not going to last for long. Explosion taking out three more drones. Sponge now down to six. He's only got four mining is pause production on this infested command center. I don't see any movement from Nagnar. Actually, it might even behoove him to move just a single drone down. Okay, now that's getting lifted off. See if that's got it. He's gonna try to, this is clever. He's gonna go ahead and try to lift it over that drone line, but all sponge, so, so what Nagnar should do is just pin a drone underneath this so it can't re-land. These Zerglings working on this, an infested, a couple infested Terrans walking in from either location, that glut of Zerglings trying to peel away at that base as quickly as possible. An explosion splashing on a lot of units. Only two drones left now in the base, but this is, what, five Zerglings? And this, another infested uh, command center floating. Yeah, you can see the drones not able to get underneath to prevent that landing. Another one being built. Now they're going to go ahead and attack. This might be a way for, with a miracle explosion, for Sponge to get back in this match. He's also, keep in mind, got these Zerglings that can flood forward and start attacking try to keep an eye out here. Those drones actually backing off. They want to go ahead and try to trigger. I think they want to try to trigger. They're just going to do groups around on this command center. I think they want to try to trigger that infested Terran uh, before it explodes. Still a big lead on that side. This single Zergling working in more infested command centers floating into Nagnar's base. This one able to scoot by, but a great split by Nagnar overall to mitigate 
the damage. So instead, he's just going to go on the hatchery. Keep in mind, if he can get that hatchery down, he currently has the lead at least a little bit in that regard. Another explosion taking... So it's just two drones left. And does Nagnar even have enough to build another Infested Terran? He's got one Infested Terran left. Uh, or, or, sorry, Sponge has one Infested Terran left to make this happen. And unfortunately, it does not... Uh, maybe going to happen? Okay, down to seven drones now. But all it's going to take is one more Infested Terran. There's two being built. This command center uh, burn, uh, being uh, decimated. This one recharging health. No one additional Infested Tan Command Center is building any Infested Terrans. These Zerglings being popped. And I think this is going to be game right here. Magnar doing a little bit of dance. That's certainly going to be GG at this stage of things. Three Zerglings. I don't think three Zerglings and nothing else is going to cut it. So the inevitable GG. We're just waiting for the official... Uh, not sure what the delay here is on Sponge's part. Maybe just spite. One drone left. It's going to run away with the minerals. And it's just kind of a cleanup operation to take what's left. I think he's hoping to win it on Zerglings. Because he is going to be able to punch this front door open. So it's going to be drones versus Zerglings. So I take it back. Sponge might actually have a shot. The drones got to kill these Zerglings in order to win. And one down. He doesn't have a spawning pool, keep in mind. Is he building an infested... No, okay, so he doesn't have that yet. So it's going to be drones on Zerglings to try to finish this out. Going to be close. Five left. The Zergling retreating to try to get some health. And maybe do a spot of harassment. But there's the GG from Sponge. Nice attempt. I will move on to the grand finals at this stage. I don't think I'm going to cast uh, the finals match. Again, because of all the stuff in between. And honestly, I'm not sure where they are in the replay set overall. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Nevertheless, thanks for listening.